Well, guys and girls, it's been a long freaking time coming, but we're finally here to wrap up episode two of Life is Strange. Many of you have probably watched it elsewhere or completed it yourself, but I felt like it was required of me to actually complete this. Give you the lowdown, um, I recorded this twice and lost the audio data both times. I don't know how it happened. It's almost like the freaking Vortex Club cursed me, um, but I recorded it. It was incredibly emotional and heartfelt the first time, and I was so bummed that the audio didn't record. That time it was the game audio that didn't record. Then I re-recorded it again to make it right to you guys, and my audio didn't record. So at that point, I was just like so frustrated. I kind of gave up, but I've heard episode three is the best episode yet. It takes things in a crazy direction, and I would feel incredibly sad and terrible if that did not exist on my channel. So I'm going to be bringing you guys episode 3, but the only way to be able to do that fair and square and right is to finish this off here. So thank you for those of you who have bared with me and waited. For those of you that who didn't, I'm still making this anyways just to set the record straight, and then we will jump into episode 3. Um, but let's finish this one off. If you recall, episode 2, lots of stuff has gone down. We were at the train tracks uh, with Chloe. We saved her there. Uh, we're kind of dealing with where Rachel has gone, the disappearance, all that nonsense. And now we're back at school where, as most of you have seen this episode know, things get really crazy. So let's get to the end and find out what happens. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. David Madsen hassling Kate with his new era of security. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Principal is a jerk. He don't care about the kids. Um, I'm going to kind of move through this quickly uh, just because I've already done it twice and I want to get to episode 3 ASAP, but I will talk to the vital people. Um, I know that based on the fact that I've played this. <laughs> this is now the third time. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Soiree. Oh, what like a big word. you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. Rude. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. So rude. Let's rewind and make that right with this really obnoxious girl here. Take me back. Whoa, not freaking this guy. I've already talked to you, buddy. Wowzer, Bowser. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Oh, my really? God. Oh, like you care. I know about the dress code because I'm super powered up. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Kill him with kindness, kill him with kindness. Courtney, we wrecked your little nonsensical spiel by appealing to your greater senses, telling you that you have style, and now we're in on the list. David, what's up, my friend? Or not friend, rather. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Uh, we'll take the fall for Chloe. She seems to have more troubles than we do. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole, and I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. <sighs> what about Kate Marsh? What about Kate? 
You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. See, I don't know. This is where I'm sort of like, is he a good guy who just is put in precarious spots so we think he's bad? Or is he really a jerk trying to cover up? Look at those shifty eyes. I can't tell. He's shifty, but also seems kind of like a harsh but caring parent. I don't know. The verdict's still out on Madsen. Warren, on the other hand, says, I'm in the sci-fi lab. See you soon. He wants help on his fun. homework. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. All right, so we'll do that. There is Drone Girl in the back, and think, Warren. Brain, think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect <laughs> timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. Have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Dr. Max. Oh, jeez. These things I do not know, but we'll go for p potassium, put a little K in it. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Does it work? Will it work? Kind of, sort of Weird not. Weird science. Okay. <laughs> Alright, but there's a way to work this out. Miss Grant... Teach me your ways, science teacher. Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against this camera surveillance far. here. Every signature counts. You're welcome. Tell me about the experiment. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder, mm -hmm. I would add chlorine. Da, 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 da. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Oh yeah, Thanks ownership. for stepping up. <laughs> More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. Why, thank you. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Thank you for your science goodies and your stand you're taking for security that doesn't involve harassing people like Mr. Madsen. Although I'm still unsure if Mr. Madsen is a real crook or not. But we're going to go back in time uh, to before we assist Warren and now give him the goods to complete his mad science experiment with a little more oomph. Hey, Warren. All right, so we'll skip to the point Maxwell. of blah, 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 Maxwell Silver Hammer. His voice is kind of really addictive. <laughs> Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. And you will... Yes. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. He's oh, so freaking really into her. Oh, you the bounds of science. <laughs> Hey, shut up over there. We're having a moment. 
and we get a photo for our album out of it. So that lets you know it's a job well done. All right, that moving right along. Helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. <sighs> Kate and Jefferson fighting as the seeds are being sown for an eventual Warren and uh, Max relationship. Wait, what'd you do? Why? Kate. You don't understand mine. Kate, don't Jefferson. What what happened? Talk to me about that. What whoa. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? Mm. <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everybody knows Kate is freaked out. Don't be a jerk. Please don't shout. Don't tell anyone else about this video. How do you know about it, teacher man? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Hmm. Have you talked to her? Jefferson, I'm pretty sure that you are now becoming a little suspect. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Aha. Jefferson is now becoming an intriguing character. He's involved in everything. He clearly has a soft spot for Rachel. He knows a lot about Kate. He knows a lot about Max. When I was playing this for the first time, I was getting all of these like sneaking suspicions that what if somehow Mr. Jefferson is at the crux of the whole disappearing girl's case, and he could be the villain. I don't know anything for sure, obviously. Nothing's really revealed here, but just thinking about it, like what if him being the first adult figure you see in the game and seeming like a very positive role model, everyone says great things about him, what if he turns out to be one of the most dastardly villains of the entire season? It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Weird. Secret phone calls. Lots of knowledge about Rachel. Kate. Max. Uh -huh. Do you know Chloe too? Sure, okay. Is this just like a nonsensical random call? Or is this something we should be worried Listen, about? I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Jefferson, you sound like you're talking to someone very mm -hmm. worrisome. Okay, I'll do that. He must not know we're watching him, but he's got a little bit of heat in his voice, so... I know. That makes That's sense. That's why I, I just suspect him so much after this episode. We'll have to see what happens in episode three. Maybe the girls are taking day. photos Bell. of each other. Bell. What's up? Bell. No time to talk, Nina. Max. You are posing in progress. Look at her posing. What are you doing? Right. <sighs> I like this look. mug. Freaking Nathan happy mug on there. Kiss were sitting at her desk. Yeah, what are you... Nathan oh, sure and Victoria. What kind of team up is this nonsense? Like a Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Jeez. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You Rude. would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. That's pretty freaking threatening Assholes. and menacing. We should report him to the freaking school authorities. 
threatening us so he doesn't forget us. They look perfect together. They almost look identical. All right. There's Kate crying back to class. Okay, why what? is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. That is really freaking freaky. I don't understand why, but it's really weird. Really, really weird. Photos over here. Here comes Warren. Dynamically entering the scene. Go check on Kate Warren. Why is David Madsen taking photos? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. Hmm. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate I guess Kate will miss class now. <laughs> I'm worried about her. Sounds like you're giggling At this about point, a video I wish we could viral. go and save her butt Maybe right it now. involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Chloe with a text. No smartphones in class, oh, Max. sorry. Gosh. Put that away. <laughs> I love that moment right there, by Usually, the way. Usually... People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! <laughs> Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again! Oh gosh. Listen! Everybody remain seated. Now it's about to get serious. Dismissed. I want you to keep in mind that Mr. Jefferson is wearing a black and white outfit, and my little theory about his contrast between being this goody-goody teacher and a bad guy, maybe it has some merit. Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. People are so mean. If anything, that's what this game teaches me more than, uh, more than anything else. It's like, people are messed up. And there is Kate. Kate! Holy crap. No! Oh god. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, let's catch her midair. She can't die. She can't. Yeah, we're gonna rewind way back. Use all the power that we can. Like when I first played this for the first time, I was like seriously like shaking. It was super emotionally crazy. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Okay, so we gotta go way back, as far back as we can. I think this is one of the most powerful moments uh, of the year for any game, and I really like it. And everything kind of slows down, and we get to move forward and try to save our friend. I'm not gonna fake like I've never played this before, because I have, this is the third time, but this is Keep a pretty powerful. going, Max. You can do it. Well done, scene. I love how everything's frozen around us. And like we're the only one pushing forward, avoiding the birds, avoiding the girls. We're the only person that has enough heart, enough courage to actually try and make a difference here. Everyone else just stands and watches, maybe even hoping for a spectacle. I will point out that David Madsen is rushing up, so even though he's taking pictures, he clearly has some concern. I don't know what to think about him. Him and Jefferson both now. I feel are more convoluted and gray than ever before. Let's see if we can save a soul, though, on top of the roof. Poor Kate. Can't even imagine. Yes. At least we made it in time.
What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Man, I'm getting chills oh, Max, again. I Ugh. know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. I just debated back and forth all of these choices. I literally sat here. The first time I played this, it took me like hours to complete this last section because I just debated and debated and deliberated and deliberated over and over again in my head which choice I wanted to make to try and save her because I really wanted to keep her alive. I just felt like it was super important. And even if it doesn't matter later on in the story, I'm hoping it comes back and, and saves us in some way. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. And you can tell that the main thing she wants is to feel valuable, important, wanted in the world, so that it's not just her versus everybody, which is what the viral video and bullying and things have, have done to her in the past days, weeks, months, years. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. That was kind of a mistake, but... But I wanted to help prove things for her. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. I wonder at this point if at the end of the game, the end of the five episodes, we're going to go back and erase literally everything and solve it then from the start, or like that'll kind of be the ending, is like Max then knows how to solve everything since she's lived it, and she can erase all these bad things from happening in the first place. I don't know, it's kind of just an interesting thought. Um, what do I want to say to her here? Be strong, there are billions of videos everybody will forget. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore, either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? Please? No. Nobody Whoa. cares about me! Nobody! Holy crap, I like how she just went from zero to hero, and then from hero back to zero really fast. Kate was like, all gonna come with us, let's hug, you're right, I love you, and now she's like, nope. And this is the critical point of episode two. You have to pick the right ones here, otherwise you are out of luck. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. 
Now, I must have answered things perfectly there, because normally you have to answer a question about a Bible passage, and I didn't. So I must have just hit all the right ones, and maybe before I missed one of them, but that was pretty well done. We saved her. I know today was difficult for everybody. But I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. Wow, As rude. principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Good. About time. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I love how he's gonna try and, like, put it on us here, and there's three interesting options. Nathan Doser, David Bulliger, or Jefferson made her cry, which leads me to believe that these are gonna be the three characters that are at the center of the conflict going forward, because you can blame any of them, and it's all kind of viable. David Bulliger, Nathan Doser, Jefferson made her cry. Um, I've gone through the options, and it's interesting how defensive David gets, it's interesting how Jefferson kind of takes it middle of the road, but Nathan Doster is the one that I'm sure of, and the one that I want to pursue. That's what I initially did, and so that's the one we're going to go with here. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Aren't Careful, cool? Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. What a See you in court. Excuse Jerk. me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. So it's a little silly that Max's power comes back right at this moment, uh, but you can rewind and redo and see which option you want. Um, if you want to go through them, like I said, David gets pretty defensive. Uh, Jefferson kind of takes it middle of the road, but I like pushing the punishment on Nathan right now. It gives us more time Just to investigate Jefferson and, and Madison, and, and it also puts Nathan hopefully out of the picture a little bit in upcoming episodes. I really wonder how much effect this decision here will have. It seems like the most monumental one we've made, even more so than the Kate living or dying. Nothing against Kate, but this one, I don't know, for Max going forward, I wonder if these relationships, David Madison, Jefferson, and Prescott will be critical uh, to the end game. The fact that they ask you to sign, like to confirm, makes me think even more that it's a very important decision. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. Hey, that's not we'll true. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. You're welcome. Hope you do the right thing, Principal. Get this scumbag out of here for good. Forever and ever and ever.
It's a really tense episode, and I know that we've had weeks of breaks between. I couldn't between, even believe it was happening. But it's it was literally really good. slow motion as I grabbed her hand, and then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. Mm. And a half times. Oh, Warren. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather weird. confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I love seeing Max and Warren kind of bond at the end there. The eclipse is really freaking freaky. And then just this whole game and where it's going with the, the kidnappings, the disappearance, it's building such a, a very, just a, a thriller slash mystery intrigue about everything. And I, I hope it pays off. And luckily we've got episode three to play right around the corner or we're already here, but you'll get to see it right around the corner. Um, so no time to waste and wait there. I do apologize once again for the delay. Like I said, two major tech issues kind of screwed things up, uh, but I still should have finished it sooner, and I'm sorry for that. But I want to make it right before I start episode three so I didn't leave you guys with any bad taste in your mouth at all. Uh, and now I'll get episode three done very, very quickly. There's the principal talking to Jefferson. Could he have been the one on the phone? Are they in cohorts somehow? Cahoots? Cohorts? Cohorts? They are cohorts. They are cohorts in cahoots. My brain is a little bit tired. Anyhow, Jefferson's out of there. Victoria, struggling in her own right. Nathan Prescott is suspended. And now they can go make babies on their own time. I believe that's the guy with the gun and his dog up by the beach. Wonder if he'll make an appearance again uh, with uh, you know, Chloe and how that all will turn out. What her role is. Chloe seems to have some major thing, but I don't really know what yet. Everything kind of seems to point away from her. But perhaps later she ends up, you know, gaining some critical importance. This whole case of missing girls and whatnot. At least we kept Kate alive. I feel very proud of that, and uh, I think that was an important moment this episode for sure. Chloe is smoking, not very appealing and or good. But Chloe and Max are clearly best friends, which is great. Uh, we can use all the friends we can get. Warren, Chloe, those are kind of like the two trustworthy people. Warren probably the most trustworthy of all. That eclipse is really weird. I'd be freaked out. And now, the most interesting part of all, and I got chills just thinking about it. Lynn, Kelly, Rachel, and... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Kate. So, now, <laughs> the question becomes... The person that is doing all this, there's drugs, there's the book. Is it Madsen because we saw him photographing her? Is it Nathan because he's the head of the Vortex Club parties? Is it a third character we've never seen? Is it Jefferson because he's in a photography as well? Like, it becomes very convoluted, crazy, and awesome in such a 
just gives me chills away. Um, we told Kate to wait. We answered Kate's call. I didn't try to shoot Frank. That one I wasn't with the majority. Um, save Kate's life. I, I like how this was such so close to an even split there. I thought that was really interesting. Uh, most people blame Nathan. Very few blame Jefferson. So I wonder if nobody's thinking along the, the thought process I am in terms of maybe Jefferson plays a role in this whole uh, villainous series of events. David was decently popular at 15, but not really that popular. All these miniature choices as well. I'm guessing these are the ones that come back uh, to bite you either later in episode two or eventually in episode three, four, or five. Um, these ones just seem more like fun decisions. And for the most part, they're, they're split pretty nice, like friendly with Taylor, not friendly. I mean, some things like erase the link, everybody was a good person, it looks like, except for 7%, the people who just want to see the world burn, I guess. Um, and then, like, told on David to Mr. Jefferson, didn't tell on David, help Warren, didn't help Warren. Uh, a lot of those could just be not knowing or, or not wanting to use the rewind power. Anyways, um, that is it. And here's the teaser for three. Creeping through the school, somebody finds him, Chaos Theory is out now, and we'll be playing it soon. Hope you guys are excited for that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the end wrap-up to this episode, too, even though it took forever to come. I really hope that when I stop this, everything recorded properly. If it didn't, I'm going to scream, but I think it did, so we should be good. Until episode three, everybody, thanks so much for watching, thanks for supporting, thanks for sticking with me. I'll do you guys a lot better for the next episode, and for the rest of the series, uh, just kind of a huge mess up with episode two and i am sorry so thank you for being supportive and understanding till next time everybody drinks about y'all have a fantastic day love you guys we will see you all later